Hello there, people. So, when I uploaded my Panasonic GH5 anamorphic setup a couple months ago, I actually received a lot of questions and I uh, got a lot of attention. So, a lot of people are wondering about a GH5 and anamorphic setup. So, what I'm going to do today is show you my new GH5 anamorphic setup. So, I'm going to break it down so that for the people out there who are interested, in getting into anamorphic the cheaper way of things or a cheaper way here it is so we're going to start with the body first which is the gh5 from the gh5 we have a contact slash yashica contact slash yashica to micro four thirds adapter fotasi cy to micro four thirds so that i can use my taking lens, which is my contact size 50 millimeter point 1.4 mmj. That's my taking lens. Like I said in previous videos, you're going to need a taking lens and an anamorphic lens adapter. So, JH5 to CY to micro four thirds adapter to my taking lens, my new one, which is the contacts, like I said because the old one, the build quality of the Helios, I wasn't really, I just, I wasn't really impressed. So I switched over and boy, this lens right here, I even shot some interviews with them without the anamorphic lens. And I'm telling you, this lens is so sharp at 1.4, super impressed, really cheap lens. You can get one for like 2.99, really awesome lens. But anyway, after the taking lens, I have a 55 millimeter to 60 millimeter step up ring that you can get from Amazon or eBay. After that, this little thing here is a clamp from Vid Atlantic, which clamps your anamorphic lens adapter. So, this rubber tubing here, I actually got from a hardware store, so I'm not clamping the actual anamorphic lens. So after the anamorphic lens, I have a 52-77 millimeter step-up ring for my ND filters. The thread in front of this anamorphic lens, which is the Sancor 16 Charlie, is 52 millimeter. You can have 52 millimeter filters, but I have 77, so I got the step-up ring. So to begin, if you're gonna need an anamorphic setup, get the camera, the adapter for your taking lens, so it will work with your camera. Clamp here, so you can clamp your anamorphic lens to your taking lens. And if you need to, get a front filter step up ring at the end. Now, a lot of, or let's say most anamorphic lens adapter do not have a front filter thread. So what does that mean? That means you will have to go to a Vid Atlantic or Red Stand to get a front filter clamp. Similarly to how you clamp it here, you're gonna end up clamping it up here as well so you can put filter threads. Now, I hope that cleared some stuff up because I know I had a lot of questions and people were really curious on how this setup, how this setup is. I just got this set up today so I'm gonna be shooting some videos with it. Like I said, I wasn't happy with the Helios because I was getting a lot of skewed shots because the lens itself was moving. I bought two of them and both of them did the same exact thing. So hit me up for any other questions and like always, thanks for watching.